And we're back, and you are listening to Villain Cast BJJ Antiheroes with myself, Chris the Villain Pains, and Naki El Jefe Arshed. And welcome to Reap the Week. Firstly, a thank you to our sponsors, the lovely patrons on Patreon. Thank you for believing in this work. And if you'd like to learn more about supporting this channel, along with receiving exclusive content such as the new episodes of How to Defend Everything 3.0, along with personal coaching, you can find out more via Chris Payne's BJJ. Dot com and knack i think that's the first time i've done that without fucking up yeah usually <laughs> it's a retake usually yeah. usually i i absolutely fuck that up off the screen <laughs> and you t- you're getting good at it now chris it's there we have to do two or three takes everything else is fine <laughs> just that i mess up i think it's because i mess up the the names i don't know how i mess up our names <laughs> um it's been a while. It's been like over a yeah. month since we've done an RTW. Yeah, yeah. It has. Welcome back. Welcome back to the show. Yeah. Boom. Um, it's still growing every week. Like even like last week, I did like a you know because it was in between um, trips. I had very little time, and uh, I had to make sure that you know there's an update on what's happening, but also that you know the, the show has to go on. Even then, just me talking, people were listening. I was like, "Cool, <laughs> it's it's legit podcast. We've we've made it." Um, yeah. But it was it wasn't the same. It that that alone took me probably about five different takes of me sitting there. That thirty five <laughs> minute singular podcast took so many attempts. Yeah, that's the hardest one. It's so easy. It, just never leave me. It's so much easier <laughs> you're involved. Uh, you've recently competed. Yes. Is the video for public consumption? Is it out there? Uh, he did message me yesterday saying it's going to come out today, but I haven't seen it. I haven't been on Instagram today. I've been busy, man. Um, I have got the like a phone recorded version, but I'm waiting for the actual uh, footage. Yeah, I know what you mean. So, yeah, I'm uh, waiting, waiting, waiting. So, yeah, that's... Uh... That'd be something we can share the second that lands, yeah. and it's it's yeah. a good explanation of what we've what been we're doing, doing. Yeah. what we're doing, especially with the other guys. We can we can make a compilation, as it were. Um, we have had questions in the in their little mail bag. You remember when we used to watch like TV shows as kids, and like they'd have ma- like you could send mail into like a, a, a yeah. like a Saturday morning show, and like you know they'd read them out, you know, like Jimmy Savile or something. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, suppose then I don't know, mate. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I can so, neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> this is just this is just the continuation, and Jim will fix it. Um, <laughs> oh no, it's already derailed. So we have our little mailbag <laughs> of people who have hopes and dreams, um, <laughs> sending us stuff. Good to have um, hopes and dreams. It is good to have hopes and dreams, uh, and I like that. It would it's definitely affecting the the narrative and the discourse of people listening to this because the questions are starting to homogenize a little bit. Like we haven't we aren't getting wild questions like what kind of passion they use here because they know they're not going to get a useful answer. None of us. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so the first one, interesting. I can't remember if we've done it. I think we made videos on it, but I don't think we've covered it in the podcast. Is um, how does the preach shit go work with what we're currently doing now of standing up? Um, it has a lot to play in it because, again, his is a fundamental framework like defensive postures, isn't it? And we're trying to get up defensively. So uh, we have to cover the gaps. The postures are similar because, again, he starts with talking about being on your side. Uh, because that's where everything works and that's how we as humans function with our body uh, and it's the effective way to get up safely. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's like it's the fundamentals. I think when you teach defense to anybody, they are the fundamentals, uh, the part of the fundamentals, should I say, not just the fundamentals. <laughs> so, I oh, realize you this, this is going to be... Uh... I, I, I've just realized I'm having to move in and out of the microphone because people keep complaining that I'm alive and I'm breathing. Um, so, yeah, I've realized that I'm going to have to like time my return to the microphone. Okay. 
I'll just so wait I'm, for you just coming I'm, into the picture. <laughs> so, I think I've explained it. I, I, I believe you'll probably agree with this. Of the mm. bonsai tree of where does the preach shit fit on the bonsai tree of jujitsu? And I, I, it's really fleshing out the idea. And I think when the book comes, or even our new logo, if we do, I may even make it into a t-shirt. I like bonsai trees. Um, mm. Of the leaves are all the individual little techniques of jujitsu, and you are snipping each individual leaf off, and it can take forever because bonsai trees are very dense of leaves sometimes. Then you have the branches, and you can kill a branch, and it kills all the leaves on it. Like if you defer, if you learn how to stop people taking your back, all the things that happen on your back die with it. And then you keep working your way down the tree. And I think preach it is like the top of the trunk. As in, it solves a lot of problems with very few postures. Um, stopping people going into your armpits. But you're not the base of the tree. And I think that's where the whole standing up balance and posture. Balance yes. and posture that's is the base of the tree. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'd say I agree. every time you fuck up, you're going up the tree. As in, you have your balance and your posture. If that fucks up and you end up on the floor and you get your guard passed, then the preach shit comes in. Yeah. Then you have the defensive postures. If that fucks up, now you're in the branches and the leaves. And so the stuff you have to do is very different. And I like the idea of explaining it that way because what you, how you treat a leaf isn't how you cut down a branch, isn't how you cut down the trunk of the tree. Yeah. Very different tools. Um like balance and posture is definitely a grind. Like that is a soaring motion that you have yeah. to do day in, day out. Yeah. Um, so I'd say that the preach shit, if you look at it in that perspective is we're trying to rebuild back to the base of the tree at all times. As in, if we have to use the pre postures, we're trying to come back do that yes. to then get back down to posture and balance. Yes. And then yes. We're, we're saved. So yes. um, when it comes to standing up out of the preach shit, that's what we were trying to rebuild. Like we fucked up. We don't want them in our armpits. Yeah. How can we then rebuild to stable posture and balance uh, when it feels safe to? And once you've accomplished that, you're saved. You're out. Yeah. Jiu-Jitsu yeah. works again. And you could dominate. Um, I think... Yes. When we get the next opportunity to, I think we need to do a lot of recording on that. Almost like sparring, but how we'd use the pre stuff to build back into yeah, balance yeah. and posture. Good idea. That's like the missing link, which yeah. that's Kindle Guard. Like plug, plug, plug. The BJJ Fanatics release uh, that we did with Charles um, with the elbow frame. That is. Yeah. That was that birth out of Running Man as yeah. a way of standing up again. Yeah, like that is the missing link. That is, you know, a a half human, half ape, weird evolution. Like it's 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 joining the two things together. Um, Charles a genius, but he took running man. I was like, I I fucking I need to find a way out of here. Yeah, it's rebuilding a good posture. It's rebuilding your balance and your framing into the ground from yeah. running man. And yeah, exactly. It's. Um, you want a prime example of how to do. There you have it. It's a, it's the elbow frame. It's the Kindle guard. It's not called Kindle guard. <laughs> yeah, Charles is should agree. be called uh, elbow, frame. <laughs> elbow frame. Elbow screw frame. Him. <laughs> screw him. What's he going to do? Wander into the woods again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's stare at a lake. Um, <laughs> I think we referenced that when he was on this. Yeah. Like, <laughs> um. Yeah, sorry, we're, gi we're giggling because we ended up wandering around Salem. Salem? Yeah, Salem. It was Salem. Yeah. All of all of us tripping on edibles, and Charles just wandered into, into a forest to stare at a lake for a bit, and we wouldn't follow him because it required <laughs> walking across, across a highway. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't want to die. Um, so, yeah, if he doesn't like it, he can just go wandering into some woods again. Um, <laughs> so... Yeah, the um, elbow frame, I say, is that missing link of, right, why are we doing the elbow frame and what does the elbow frame accomplish? It allows us to rebuild posture and balance from 
the top of the tree down to the bottom of the tree. Yeah, I like Agreed. that. I think it's a relaxing it makes way sense. of looking at it. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. I feel that that's what we do yeah. instinctively, maybe not consciously. And I think we need to talk about it more consciously, that that's yeah. the goal of all this. Yeah. I like that. That was, that was relaxing, that was. <laughs> Good start with this. Now yeah. here's something more violent. Um, someone asked, how do you fuck with someone's breathing? Which, <laughs> I don't know, I think, I think I need to find I the think I could this... do it. I think I could do it better than explain it. Like, I'm just thinking I... about it now. I think that sounds overly kinky. Like, I think I, 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 I'm not. I'm not even sure why if they were referencing jujitsu when they asked. Like, oh shit! Yeah, it's not specified, is it? <laughs> how do you fuck with someone's breathing? Like, oh okay. shit! Um, <laughs> well, let's let's hope they're talking about jujitsu. Let's hope so. We'll keep it on that track. Um, I mean, it's I'd a broad say, question. It's a broad question, ain't it? I'd say fucking with their cardio. Yeah, like, cardio balance. Yeah, when you, you make, when you make people explode when they're in trouble, and you make them explode, that tank just keeps coming down and down, cooking and down. Yes, you cook them. I I'd say the biggest thing that's kind of fucked with that recently is putting a lot more emphasis on destroying the bottom person's posture. Yeah, like you know, if you want to use your guard effectively, you you naturally create a posture that allows you to create pressure. And be but efficient. If you have, yes. Generate power through your spine. Um, if you fuck with that person's posture, like underline their spine, if they want to do anything, they have to explode more to get out of it, yes. which cooks the life out of them. Um, like I've done this, like, you know, traveling. I think I rolled with four people doing this, and I've rolled with multiple people doing this. I had four people throw up in one day, practically. <laughs> Uh, I think it was in one day. Yeah, they were like, "I'm going to be sick. I'm going to be sick." I'm like, "That's quite funny." I wasn't even going, you know, assholes to breakfast on it. I was just <laughs> gently, staying on top, yeah, staying on top and just unaligning them all the time, like, and then just making them. It's like saying, "I think I've used it in the gym before." Saying like, "It's like uh, you know, when you unalign someone on the floor, like unalign their spine, it's like." you're making them drive uphill with half an engine and they're just revving the shit out of it. Like, it's still <laughs> accomplishing the same goal, but yeah. holy shit, it's revving the crap out of the engine. Um, and it, it burns so much fuel. I think that fucks with their breathing way more. Than, yeah. I mean, you can do the whole smother and shit like that. And, and, but I think cooking someone by intelligent uh, pressure application and, and alignment. 100%. Worst thing you can do to someone. Put pressure in the diaphragm, man. I just try and find ways of just putting pressure in the diaphragm and covering their face with a, a bicep or a forearm or, you know, <laughs> chest. It's all way more violent than I am. Like, I, I know, I'm, but I'm like, it depends on who I do it to. I don't do it to everyone. <laughs> it's a choice. It's a conscious choice. Seriously, it's for brown belts and above. I think I think on the next podcast, I think we have to swap nicknames, Knack. Like, I think <laughs> I'm, I'm El Hefe, the you're the villain. I've, I've reached some sort of zen moment. I don't believe in submissions anymore. <laughs> we'll go into that. Um, I, think it's a, I think there's a big push for team spirit and happiness in the gym. Which I, I am very pivotal in as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm very... I'm, I think I... You, you, next week there's going to be a little you know those little sand <laughs> zen gardens that you can push a little rake around <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that's this is going to be on this day <laughs> i've hit i've hit those those quiet moments now i've changed no but i was just trying to like explain because i told you in the beginning is that it's a broad question isn't it so that's one extreme and what you were saying was other extreme so i just filled in the gap exactly you're the violent extreme i'm just like <laughs> no just, i'll unalign you i'll i'll change your alignment if that causes you stress, that's not my fault. I've just changed your alignment. If that cooks you, so, then... That's a politically correct answer, as we would call it. <laughs> I've changed, man. It's just been, get it's raw for me, just raw. It's been a year of growth for me. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got the camera. <laughs> You can't see the lies. <laughs> like, 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 like I haven't been around. <laughs> <laughs> um... Oh. Anyway, 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 um, another question uh, yes. about tripoding on your head whilst passing. Oh, fuck off. 
Uh, it's it's brilliant. It's amazing. It shoots tall people though. Fucking short people like me. It's fucking our bases everywhere. Um, but yeah, you you. And to be fair, anybody tall I've usually rolled with who can balance in the head. It's hard to sweep sometimes when you bloody tripod balance. If you, I'm talking from the bottom person's perspective. But um, I mean, I try to do, if you could call it tripod passing, like half guard, you know, I like the weave and I put the head on the shoulder. But, you know, I just can't get the same kind of leverage someone taller or longer would probably get in that way. Uh, but I, I do use it. I'm, I'm a big fan of it, of tripoding, but... Uh, when I'm on the bottom, when you're doing the tripod stuff, I have to work 10 times harder to sweep you. Like My wrestle-up has to be on point, and it fucking gets frustrating sometimes. That's why it's a hard uh, hard, hard co concept to deal with sometimes. It's, but if you can use it to, and put it in your game, it's fucking amazing. I don't want to use it, but you make me. Like You stole my arms. What was I going to do? Yeah, um, yeah. So I'm good at that. <laughs> there was a, uh, I think a class that Christian Graugart does uh, about sweeps, where essentially he said like if you can get their their um, ass higher than their head, uh, they're going to have problems. So I don't mm. want necessarily tripod on my head because my ass is high and my center of gravity is all over the place. It's only there because if I don't, I'm going to go over. It gives me yeah. like one last ditch effort that okay, if I'm on my head, I can maybe pull my hand free to try and. Balance and shit. Yeah, create create a better tripod, a more stable tripod. And I don't. When it comes to passing, I don't think about passing. I think, yeah, I want to maintain my balance. I want to maintain my posture. Once those things are uh, stable and solidified, and they cannot be fucked with, they are um, immutable laws. At this point, mm. I, I, it's just part of the environment. Yeah, I'll fucking then... mad. <laughs> I'll then look at clearing your knees. That's it. Yeah. Like, you need to break my balance and posture for your guard to work. And so yeah, I don't I want to become desperate and try to pass. Because if I try and push the pass too hard, that it sacrifices my balance and posture. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah. you win. I mean, we had a great game earlier with you in guard and me looking at passing. <laughs> I think we were in there for a good six minutes. Yeah. Of... Just fucking... Yeah, and I'm there trying to clear your knees. But the second I thought my balance and posture was going to be messed with too much by you, I'd return to yeah. balance and posture. Balance and posture, yeah. I felt that. Yeah. I was like, fuck now. I wanted to like, move from here, man. What the fuck? <laughs> and, then, and then you'd release. I would reclaim my balance and posture and then go back into trying to attack your knees. And yeah. So I'm not necessarily thinking... I want to create a tripod and I don't want my ass above my head because I'm I mean, yeah. Down. It makes sense. You could call it like if you had a passing tree, you could be like, uh, you have to use that position at that time because it's your last ditch hope mm. to get your balance back. You know what I mean? Before that, it could be an arm, elbow, you know, your knee, leg, hip early on, you know, just coming, just all the layers. And then your tripod, yeah, yeah. you could argue, is your last resort till you can switch yeah. your hips again and fucking survive. Exactly. Exactly. And... I want to keep my upright, not upright, but like my aligned spine as long as possible. And if I'm on my head, it's a bad time. I was not yeah. saying it doesn't work. I, you know, being on your head can free up your hands for doing passing based jobs, but your ass is up in the air. Like you're going to, you're, you're probably going to get, it's easy to get rolled over at that point. Yeah. Um, or damage to your neck. Again, I'm thinking about everyone here. Yeah, it is dangerous. Like, yeah. But I, again, I can't really say don't do it because I did it earlier on. <laughs> four hours ago. <laughs> um, oh, this is fantastic. I, I feel oh, liberated. Um, <laughs> locking the hips. Oh, I like locking. Uh, not locking the hips. I think locking the hips is a. You can't do that. It's very hard. It's going to be a fluid, hard. fluid movement. Like you could argue floating, but it's not really floating. It's uh, you could argue a, ca a moving cage, uh, which you can also put pre downward pressure on as well, uh, whilst you restrict them. Because yes. just like my opinion on pins in jujitsu is like we're not trying to pin because the goal isn't to get four points or whatever it is or how whatever they call it in wrestling fall or pin or whatever. The goal is to submit. 
So there has to be a fluid penning or a moving f pen, if there's a word or you know a phrase out there. It's constant pins to get into position and opening the armpits. And I think the hip locking, if we were to put it into that kind of same bracket, uh, where it's a cage, moving cage, and you, which you can put downward pressure on, and it controls everything. Like when I roll nowadays, all I think about is the hips. Like I can't let the hips go. We've done that a few times in drills and talked about in class and and everything. Is that we oh, know, yeah, sugar in the, literally sugar today. In the gas tank? Yeah, literally sugar today. I, I I did it in the private with Joe earlier, um, and uh, you know talked about this idea that if you release their hips you give them their power back. If you if you always got weight through their hips, you are putting sugar in their gas tank. Their their yeah. ability to generate power is through their hips and legs. If they can't use them properly because there's weight through them, they may still do it. They may be powerful. Yeah. But you are putting sugar in their gas tank. Like it's gonna it's it may work. But yeah, it ain't gonna work ticker. effectively. It, yeah, yeah, it's a ticker. It's another cooking mechanism, and yeah. especially it's one thing you can kind of naturally realize when you have to deal. With, oh, that's giving me hiccups. That ass. This is terrible. Um, <laughs> freaking coffee, man! Coffee at midnight. Who would have thought it? Um, <laughs> yeah. So, if I if if dealing with people who are always trying to get up, you have to put a pressure on their hips to slow them the fuck down. If they're rolling, if they're shrimping away and everything if they've got freedom of the hips they can do stuff uh same with like you know if you're attacking someone who's in turtle like if you if they've got freedom of their hips and legs they're getting up um you may not be able to stop them but you can definitely slow them the hell down and you know we again i, I actually recorded that class with the goal of putting it up this week um because i thought it's quite a good class about drowning the hips and i think i've yeah. got some good videos on that um but yeah, I, I want to put pressure through your hips to stop you from standing. Yeah. Um, Simple. Or slow you the hell down. So I'm not, I might not be able to lock them. I might not be strong enough to lock them and pin your legs to the ground. But I can slow them the hell down. So I'm going to keep gripping onto them. Not um, just strong enough. It's like you, if you're concentrating on pinning them, you're just, number one, you're using a lot of your energy, which again, you're not being efficient. But number two, you're going to start putting momentum into places where you don't need to. And you're, you can get swept quite easily if you're overcommitting sometimes, just because if you're thinking, I need to lock the hips. You know, you just got to have that moving cage. I think is, if anyone's listening to this or wants to try it, try a roll where like a like a you know situational spark kind of thing where you've got you maybe you pass someone's guard you're holding on to their hips ask your partner to try and stand up try and shrimp try and do anything and you're just going to grip their hips the entire time like maybe allow them to roll into turtle but you just keep grabbing their hips then do it without like just go a bit north to their shoulders and do the exact same motions and you if it, it feels like fresh air the second you have your hips released it is glorious you don't realize some things until it's taken away from you like the yeah. posturing guard like you don't realize how important you 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 need your posture in guard uh i don't think i've covered this in the main video yet it should be we should make this this week as well we've got so much to do um you need your posture in guard to generate power and then when someone takes it away from you and messes with your posture you realize oh shit i should have taken better care of that yeah. same with your hips like you want freedom of your hips to generate power when someone takes it away from you, you'll feel uh, how important it was this entire time. Yeah. Um, 100%. Yeah. Completely, yeah. I, I won't lock, yeah, like I say, I won't lock the hips, but I will drown them. Um, especially against bigger people, like, yeah, uh, who can generate a lot of power. Like, I need to. Like, I need to drown you. You need to level the playing field before you fucking do anything. Exactly. Cook up a bit. I want, I want to cook you again in a nice way. Yeah. Cook for you. <laughs> that made it weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's one of those days. Um, so last question. Oh. It's been nice. It's been. Oh, I like this. Now we're back. Yeah. Um, training specific submission systems. Ooh. Uh, as in, is it worth it? Uh, I think there's other questions we need to go through, but I think this is going to lead on to it. So, no. 
No, <laughs> yeah, because we don't defend the traditional way, if you know what I mean. Like it's it's hard to get submissions on someone who's trying to get up. That's number one. And like how many submissions is that or a variety of submissions have we been do have we got on each other or in the gym in the last say three months? I can only think of like an arm triangle, an arm bar here and there and a leg lock and nothing else flipping works. And that's if you're lucky, you can jump on it or if you cook someone enough to get an arm triangle or a smoother. So like the systems don't work, man. It's systems are designed on defensive fucking wog, wibbly wobbly shit that other people do or they expect. But like wibbly wobbly shit. <laughs> I don't know what <laughs> I don't know what you want to call it. Like sometimes I see these little flows where they're getting out of submissions and I'm thinking there ain't a chance in hell if somebody's got you like that, you're getting out. Like, I know there's a counter and a timing for everything, but some of the submission flows that they do, I'm, I'm like, oh, oh, well, plug here again. That's the kind of stuff that we're going to be putting out on my YouTube, aren't we, where people have on got yours. these... Yeah. On yours. Well, they've got these silly little wibbly-wobbly flows, and it's like, oh, that's that's it. We're afraid. We've we've put a name to it now, wibbly-wobbly stuff. <laughs> Naki and his wibbly-wobbly throws. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Does, does um, it rhyme? No, it doesn't uh, at all. <laughs> doesn't, but yeah, <laughs> can't stick that landing. No, um, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. But yeah, no, I agree with you. It's uh, it's hard. I c- I'm trying to think how to teach that right now to our class or our our little cohort. It'd be fucking hard. <laughs> I, 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 people are sometimes showing frustration that I haven't shown submissions in a while, in a long, long time. But I, I I am returning it and saying that I know, keep the faith, are you dominating people yet? Are you holding down people effectively? If you can't even do that, don't think about anything else for now. Um, it goes into this whole idea of conscious competence, which I've said numerous times now, of... Most people suck at just keeping balance and posture completely, like just aligning their spine and keeping it aligned and generating power perfectly the entire time and keeping upright. As soon as you start giving them too much to think about, they fall the fuck over. So I don't want to confuse them. And, you know, if, we've had visitors come in and you can feel when they become... That they, when they want submissions over and above keeping the position. And it's something that we're told. It's written in jujitsu law by now of position before submission. On t-shirts. <laughs> it was actually on the inside of all my gi jackets that made me realize what that means because of how it was written of position over submission. I think I may have been high maybe doing laundry. And... <laughs> I read it and I was like, it's right. The gear is <sighs> right. The gear is right. Um, what the fuck? Um, and choose position over submission. As in, never throw away a position for a submission. Always choose the position. Because if the submission fails, you still have position. And so anything that involves me throwing my back into the floor is very Hail Mary. As in... If this fucks up, I've fucked up everything. I've took that person down, got past their guard, and gone into a dominant position. Hold down this person for long enough to find a submission. Find my submission to then throw myself onto my own back, potentially missing the submission entirely if they've got good defense. And now I've thrown away all my progress. Yeah. Um, Does it make sense? Yeah. And can I... So in other words, I want to find the list of submissions that I can do that doesn't involve yes. me losing positional control. But then it even gets shorter as in what submissions can I do that doesn't involve giving you space to stand up? Because that's one thing we started doing when it came to like side control is like, okay, find a DAS. <laughs> stand up. Yeah. Hilariously. Like if someone's in side control and they go for a DAS and you just get up, just, just throw your bottom arm underneath yourself and stand up. There isn't a DAS. And if they keep trying to DAS you, just keep standing up. Um, it turns into half Nelson throws repeatedly, but just keep yeah. standing up. Uh, arm bars from side control. Stand up again. Just stand up. Um, 
It's amazing how many submissions require you to remain on the floor whilst they set up their submission. If you suddenly start just getting up, it throws so many things out of whack. Um, Unfortunately. Exactly. So I, I think the short list of submissions is, is like, yeah, arm triangles are definitely in there. Head and arm oh, chokes. Yeah. Um, Head and arm chokes. Yeah. Like I, it was one thing we talked about recently, wasn't it? When I said that, you know, changing up what we consider to be dominant positions, scarf old, it's come, yeah. making a comeback. Yeah. Um, and if you're going to go to mount, make sure they've got a arm tied to their head before you go. It makes holding mount way easier when they've only yep. got one arm and the other one's tied to their ears. Um, I think that's a, a good, I, I wouldn't, I mean, I used it today, especially like, a, you know, against someone who is exceptionally good at just getting the fuck up. Andy. Fucking hate <laughs> white, I fucking hate white belts sometimes. <laughs> mate, um, I don't know how he does it. Like, f- I, I'm like, mate, like, I'm sorry, you're a white belt, but I don't want to hurt you, but... You're making me like I, I'm, I'm, I have to go there because you fucking just keep getting up and it shouldn't be happening. <laughs> I think I rolled with him last week and I felt stupid. I, I, I it's the first time I'd rolled in like properly at the gym in like a good couple of weeks just due to yeah he's improved and, Ill and my car fucking got and he, he was just getting up and I was like I want to pass your guard why can't I pass your guard yeah you the fuck you why then, about like no offense but yeah. I'm a mediocre purple belt at best right now. That's it. <laughs> it is fucked up, man. I know it is. Um, so, yeah, I think training submission systems right now, depressingly, yeah. I don't think we're good enough to do it. No. This is this is a, a admission. I think the, the first part to healing is admission. Yeah, step um, one, recognizing the problem. Exactly, and the problem is we suck. And, and the solution to the problem is step one. <laughs> yeah. We realizing we suck and doing our best to then not suck so much. And when we hit a point where we don't suck as much as we used to, then we can maybe look, think about submissions again. Right Which now, is man, coming soon because these guys are getting good, man. I think teaching submissions to beginners is a terrible idea. I'm going to put it out there. If you're a beginner and you've been taught submissions, it's terrible for you. It's you've been put on really terrible drugs that are bad for you. But I um, think I think it's there because the selling point you could argue for grappling or jujitsu is submissions, uh, and what people see is is a finish usually, which gives you that a kind of uh, <laughs> don't do that. But yeah, that kind of feeling. Um, but yeah, and I think people when they, they they do get beginners, they are so much in a hurry to teach them the fancy shit just to keep them in, uh, to, or to keep them interested, which I think needs to change because I found that all since I've t- t- changed my mindset around the whole thing, that any new beginner as I get, I do balance and posture with them, and they just want to hang around and they because they get it, and I've got guys yeah. who. I've had for a few years who weren't getting it and now they get it. And I'm like, fuck you now. It's not that hard in that sense. And nobody's run away and everybody's staying and they're enjoying it. And they love the roles because it's honest uh, when both people are doing what I'm telling them. And I'm like, interesting. I like this. I think it's like you say that you hit the nail on the head is you've really got to reframe what jujitsu is. Yeah. And I think that's a bigger conversation of how the hell do we teach this new constraint led or whatever call it approach of like no techniques and just uh, yeah ideas. And it's one thing I've had to grapple with. Well, hey pun um, is do I have to teach the old shit still out of obligation or tradition? And like oh, thinking thanks. you know, could you imagine if we had like a purple belt or brown belt in our little way? Who didn't know what side control was? Who like who, who imagine they didn't know what Delaheva was? They went, you know, traveled around, they went to a different school, and like, oh yeah, we're doing <laughs> Delaheva. I've never seen it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we're doing close guard tonight. Don't know what that is. You're a brown belt, still don't know what close guard is. What kind of weird <laughs> shit is this? Um, I feel like I may have to, but then I'm like, that just seems like a waste of time. 
Like I'm just showing it almost like it's some sort of historical book. Like, look what we did in the olden days. Like we did this position and like, cool grandpa. Um, <laughs> it has no relevance. Um, <laughs> learn, learn this forgotten la- learn Latin. <laughs> I'm asking you to learn why no one speaks it. It's not useful to me. Still learn it. It's tradition. Makes no sense. Um, yeah. Uh, and I think the same can go with submissions. As I might say, it's a, it's a selling point. People want it. That, so, I think it was the, the seminar I just did in Hamburg where someone said, I said, at the end, anyone got any questions? And someone said, yeah, can you tell me about Pornhub Jiu-Jitsu? I was like, Porn- <laughs> I click now, yes. Um, <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's the Jiu-Jitsu where you just always have to the cum shot. <laughs> <laughs> Which it is. Like, that's all people care about. They're like, no, no, yeah. Like, sh- show me the submissions. Yeah, that's right. Like, they just want to skip straight to the end. <laughs> um, that's how many classes have we been to? I seen? thought you were going to ask me how many pornos have you fucking watched? <laughs> same shit. Um, <laughs> probably, probably about the same number, really. Um, <laughs> You're older than me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, why is my phone sticking to my hand? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh fuck! This is right. It's can tell it's late. Um, yeah. So yeah, everybody's yeah, people, after that. People, people, people the money the shot. shot. They want the money, the money shot. shot. Yeah. They want the uh, release. And I'm like, no, no. Enjoy the story. How did yeah. she get there? Like, <laughs> how are they related? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's it. I'm going right. We're getting cancelled. Are they are they stepsister? Or is this just a weird circumstance they're in? Um <laughs> so, yeah, enjoy enjoy the journey. Like build relationships. You don't need to go finding these these cum shop moments. Um It's a great way to explain to someone though. I have to say Exactly. And that's what and if that's what it is, like if regular jujitsu is just the grappling equivalent of porn, we're building stable relationships in jujitsu. That's our goal: is to make devote. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to go with this, but let's find out. Um, Build we're stable to make relationships. Stable, devoted relationships where you are consistent and you spend your time working on yourself. Yes. Uh, Yes, that's what we're trying to build here. And we're not going down that route of... of and you're going just... to start with balance and posture. Exactly. Technique. That is the base of not your technique. trunk. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just align, <laughs> aligning yourself. Finding yourself. <laughs> meditating into it. Not just like, oh, no, yeah, g- g- give me that submission. Yeah, yes, right. Uh, yeah, I tapped. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I tapped all over you. Um... I don't believe in that, man. I've changed. No, I don't again. believe in it. No. Um, Great analogy. I, I like it. And I'm I'm so glad he brought that one back. I think he actually listens to this as well. So, uh, yo, thanks thanks for reminding me of Pornhub Jiu-Jitsu. It completely <laughs> fallen off my table. Or well, slipped <laughs> off. Uh, slid, slid off? <laughs> slid <laughs> off. <laughs> um, on that sticky note, um, that's the oh, end of this week's too questions. Too many puns. <laughs> uh, I <sighs> release. That's how I feel right now. Um... <laughs> yeah, I think. I think we're we It's it's definitely very uh... different. I feel I feel this is more mature. As in, like, as a younger man, I just always wanted that sweet, sweet submission. Just, yeah, just, ugh, a tap. Now I'm like, no, nah, man. It's stable, long-term relationship. Foreplay. Yeah, exactly. Like, working on myself, working yeah. on how I feel, working on my alignment. Like, you're there, but I'm going to work on my alignment. Um... <laughs> And it's it, I, I feel better for it, and um, and it's all about I, getting into the holes. 
Yeah, cut on the hips. Yeah, on the the hips. Wait through the hips. Gaps. Gaps. I think we need to. I think we need to make a video on this as well. Like, this is going to be lost. In, this is going to be lost in the podcast Spotify ether. I think we. Board oh. of Jiu Jitsu. Oh, dude! I think. I know we've got a lot on our plate, but I think that's the next video. I think we we make. We we make a video. Oh. <laughs> Uh, filled with cum shot jujitsu, and then comparing that to stable relationship jujitsu, yeah, and see what satisfies people more. <laughs> I like you're like only smart. I, people I, I hope he's just talking about jujitsu <laughs> right now because I, know I don't think I have the towels. <laughs> to I know it. jujitsu. Tori and the bloody slimming world already thinks that we're doing something fucking dodgy in there with the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think this is again. I what I said earlier about you know when it's taken away from you or when things are different, you you realize what what you should have had. Same yeah. with posture, same with balance. When it's taken away from you, like oh, I wish I had that back. And I think you need to. Uh, we need to show people like no, it's not the way. Like you you had this this high adrenaline excitement jujitsu like no stable you have it and then you'll be like oh man it feels weird it does feel weird to go submission hunting now yeah i feel dirty doing it because you, if you slip you're on the bottom and it's fucking hard to get up <laughs> oh shit it's everywhere it's everywhere <laughs> oh no i didn't mean it like that <laughs> I, I, just, oh, I just i just i just thought about what i just said Fuck. I was talking about jiu-jitsu. I was talking about jiu-jitsu, yeah? Oh, I think I think I'm throwing you under the fucking bus of this one. Oh, mate, that's... I love I love it got on, on video. I like I'm gonna I don't ever watch these back just because I can't stand my own face and voice. This this is um, a watchable one. This is a watchable yeah. one. I'm gonna go back and watch this because I wanna see your your the realization wash over you of Oh no, what has he, tri- what what he tricked me into? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I Nat. thought I thought we were done, <laughs> so I got a bit serious. No, no, it's still but... recording. Sorry. No, I didn't call an end to this. No, but I mean I... <laughs> go on, go on. I'm glad we caught it. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good good viral now, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Sorry, man. Uh, it's fine. It'd be uh, funny to watch it though. I led you down that garden path because um, I, I just said it with such a straight face as well. <laughs> and I, I, again, I want to watch it back and to see your, your eyes glaze as you go. Oh, Shit! Oh, what have I done? <laughs> um, well, on that note, uh, I think this has been a fantastic return to week, the week. Yeah. Um, we will be back next week, and we will <laughs> talk about, and hopefully, we'll have. Um, so I'm. I'm yeah, we can make more videos this week and we'll definitely do the... That's going to be the next one on YouTube. Pornhub Jiu-Jitsu. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start writing it and getting the ideas together. Yeah, we're on it. Okay. Um, fantastic return to read the week. Thank you, Naki, for humouring no me at, at half past midnight. <laughs> um, it's I fine. Think this is, it's, it's been emotional. It's, it has. This has been a this has been a journey. I feel we've yeah. grown on this one. Um, yeah, strong everyone, relationship. Yeah, it has. Yeah, stable. Um, stable. <laughs> Devoted. So thank, thank you for your time. Uh, no this has been Reap the Week with Naki El Jefe Arshad, Chris the Villain Pains, and we'll see you again next week. See you in a bit.